नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन एट देर आर थ्री पिलर्स एक्स वाई एंड इज ऑफ डिफरेंट हाइट्स थ्री स्पाइडर्स ए डी एंड सी स्टार्ट टू क्लाइंब ऑन दीज पिलर्स साइमल्टेनियसली इन वन चांस ए क्लाइंब ऑन एक्स बाई सिक्स सेंटीमीटर बट स्लिप्स डाउन बाई वन सेंटीमीटर बी क्लाइंब्स ऑन वाई बाई सेवन सेंटीमीटर बट स्लिप्स डाउन थ्री सेंटीमीटर सी क्लाइंब्स ऑन इज बाई सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर बट स्लिप्स डाउन बाई टू सेंटीमीटर इफ ईच ऑफ दम रिक्वेस्ट फोर्टी चांसेस टू रीच द टॉप ऑफ दीज पिलर्स वॉट इज द हाइट ऑफ द शॉर्टेस्ट पिलर सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द शॉर्टेस्ट पिलर सो इफ यू सी देर आर थ्री पिलर्स से आई विल जस्ट मार्क इट विथ थ्री लाइन्स लेट दिस बी द फर्स्ट पिलर एक्स and this be the second pillar y and this be the third pillar he said so it is of different height we don't know which height so a climbs this uh, d climbs this and c climbs this so since uh, in x uh, it first a climbs 6 cm 6 cm up 6 cm up and then falls by 1 cm the effective distance uh, a climb in each step is 5 cm right it climbs 6 cm and fall down 1 cm so in each after each step effective distance a covers is 5 cm similarly uh, the effective distance b covers is 7 cm minus 3 uh, that is 7 7 minus 3 which is uh, फोर सेंटीमीटर फोर सेंटीमीटर एफेक्टिव डिस्टेंस डी कवर्स इन वन सिंगल स्टेप इज फोर सेंटीमीटर सिमिलरली फॉर सी इट इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव माइनस टू सो फोर पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स इट कवर्स सो सिंस ऑल द स्पाइडर्स टेक फोर्टी स्टेप्स टू रीच द टॉप वी कैन क्लियरली as since the uh, we have the effective distance we can say that uh, the smallest effective distance the spider which takes the smallest effective distance will be probably climbing the shortest pillar right since effective distance is small and every uh, uh, it took the same amount of steps for all the three uh, then uh, this has to be the shortest pillar so um short spiller uh, so we can just cal use that to calculate um, if you didn't understand what i meant i will just explain um, if you just uh, since we effective steps 14 to 5 it is not 14 to 5 um, there is a trick key part there but for the explanation sake i am just going to say 14 to 5 4 into 40 uh, and 4.5 into 40 is the total distance they jump after taking 40 steps right if you see the smallest among this will be the height of the shortest pillar so clearly 14 to 4 is much lesser than 14 to 5 or 14 to 4.5 so this will be the shortest pillar so here there is again a trick uh, we don't have to calculate 14 to 4 uh, uh, that uh, that is not the answer so the reason is say after 39th steps 39 step the spider reached how much distance effective 4 into 39 cm 39 4 into 39 uh, distance ha it has ho covered so 4 into 39 is uh, 36 3 12 4 3 12 3 156 cm it has covered so that spider has covered 156 cm i'll just draw the pillar and say the spider has reached this point this is 156 cm and now uh if we assume uh the top is 7 cm since it jumps 7 cm up and 3 cm down if if it is if the top is 7 cm away from this the point on which which is 156 cm it will just in its first jump it will reach here so since it reaches the top it won't slip down so uh, in the last jump we can assume that that spider is not slipping down so in that case our height of the shortest pillar will be 156 plus 7 which is 163 cm
So this is the reason why we, uh, if we take 40 into 4 as our answer, will be wrong. E even if we take 40 into 4, uh, 160 centimeter is not in the answer, uh, not uh, among the options. So uh, that's not a problem. We won't make a mistake like that. But still, our correct answer, if you want to find, uh, the procedure we have to do is if if we take n steps we have to consider n minus 1 step and see how much distance it has covered and in the last jump we should uh, say it is not slipping down as it reached the top so the same concept we used 156 centimeter is the distance the spider has traveled in 39 jumps and then in the last jump it will it covers 7 cm and reaches the top it is not slipping down so 156 plus 7 163 is the answer so solution to question 8 is b 163